A new era of robotics can transform and even adapt to the task at hand. This enables new performance characteristics with potential energy gains in different modes of locomotion. We have already seen how simple mechanical systems can dramatically increase flight distances and times. The XP4 was an excellent example of this and it utilizes mechanical folding wings. Today, there are many tools available to drones to increase this capability even more. Model predictive control can enhance flight transitions. This kind of acts like a chess game for drones, where it can look several moves ahead, pick the best path, and then updates as new information comes in. In other words, it's using a mathematical model of its dynamics. So it can optimize things like motor speed to achieve a desired position or velocity. Before this tool, drones would have to transform on the ground and this would take time and energy. But the new variant Atmo is able to do this in the air instantaneously. So it's able to calculate different aerodynamic forces as its motors are tilting and then stabilize itself during this whole process. This happens many cycles per second and it's a critical attribute of any type of drone that transforms in the air. Now these types of drones will inevitably get faster in the future as another tool called reinforcement learning will allow the robot to learn in simulation. It's a lot faster than real life experimentation because it can have many simulations of itself doing the same task and then perfecting it in a short amount of time. We have already seen this one particular tool outperform human pilots. One of the front renders is the TU drone. It incorporates neural networks, which are interconnected nodes arranged in layers. In a way, it kind of mimics the neurons in the human brain so that it can identify patterns in data. Neural networks are very commonly used in reinforcement learning, especially in high dimensional inputs like images from a drone camera. So this drone was able to utilize this tool and it outperformed some of the best human pilots in a drone race. The most fascinating part about this is that there was only one camera used with an IMU on board, so it had very similar perception to a human being. Yet, it outperformed the human easily. So an oversimplified way to look at this is that the model predictive control can be the reflexes and the reinforcement learning can be the instinct. And these two tools can actually be combined. And this has been talked a lot in robotics. For drones, it could equate to something that can morph very quickly, yet can actually go flying at a very fast speed. However, when it comes to object manipulation, and thankfully not human beings just yet, it gets a little bit more complicated. One of the stranger projects out there stems from Hong Kong University, and they have developed the AET, or the Aerial Elephant Trunk, which kind of looks like the first edition of a Sentinel from the Matrix, and it can pick up irregular objects that are out of reach for rigid claw grippers. And the interesting thing is that the flight controller is able to keep track of the arm's position and plan methods to maintain smooth movements to keep the drone stable. The shape of the object is calculated in real time, so the arm is able to change to the optimal shape for grasping. Thankfully, it's not a very big machine and it cannot grasp humans just yet. But if you want to go into tight areas, then you need to reconfigure the robot itself. The Dragon Drone is probably one of the most advanced prototypes when it comes to morphing abilities. I have covered it before, and it's basically made out of multiple segments. Each segment has its own thrust vectoring, so it can change direction and reconfigure the rest of its body. Through coordination, it can morph into certain shapes and thread itself through tight areas. Or it can even adapt to carry large objects or even manipulate valves. However, this design is more dependent on model-based control planning, and it's also limited by its battery energy density. Having said that, this dragon can be advanced quite a bit further with reinforcement learning and advances in battery technology. I'm going to go out on a little bit of a limb here, but I predict in the future that it's going to be considerably faster when changing shape or position. Another possible development is we might see other drones assembled into something like the Dragon. We have already seen this in other robots like the Mori 3, which uses modules to assemble into larger complex 3D structures to complete tasks. The key to all this is sharing input variables between the connected modules and then effectively coordinating the motor torques so one module is not working against the other. ModLab has also demonstrated basic drones that can assemble and pick up larger payloads. What is the limitation to this? Well, it's hard to say because it requires synchronized control, careful payload distribution, 
and advanced algorithms like multi-agent reinforcement learning or swarm control. We have already seen how large swarms can present some very fascinating displays, and these can number into hundreds or even thousands of drones. So it's going to be interesting just to see what the short-term future brings. More importantly, I would like to know what you think. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.